front of getting some cold Canadian weather. So we're thinking of doing something ultra Canadian and getting some pond hockey going. So the boys shoveled off a rink. We're gonna flood it right now because it's supposed to go to minus 15 or more tonight. And uh, we'll let that freeze up and hopefully tomorrow we can uh, get out there and play some hockey. We're just gonna drill a hole, get the pump going and get a maybe a half an inch of water on the whole thing. The next morning we put on our skates and headed out to see if the rink had frozen over. It was perfect. Looking out over the lake we noticed that the areas that were open water only a few days ago were beginning to freeze over. Just a thin layer of ice for now, but this was a good sign. The boys were anxious to be able to drive the snow dogs further out onto the lake. And so they took a walk to test the depth of the ice in the channel. They determined it was thick enough and wasted no time getting on their machines and going for a spin. This was the first time being able to drive more than 20 feet away from the island and what a fun time it was. Especially if we had a secondary trailer pulling all our gear. Yeah, we do have one. We just gotta hook it up. And that could have the Those tent are... and all that stuff in it.
while the young people are out skating and playing hockey on the lake. Carol and I warm up with a nice hot cup of coffee on the deck. We had a really fun day on our rink. It's crazy because, I mean, yesterday night we just shoveled this in the evening, shoveled out this area, made a bit of a border, and then uh, got the pump out, put our little fire hose nozzle on the end of it, soaked the area, and then the next day we had this beauty rink. We've always dreamed of that. You don't really ever get to go skating out on a frozen lake, like have pond hockey. Just it took such little effort to make, so we're gonna make, try to tonight fill in the little holes that we had and scrape away the bumps in certain sections of the pond, our rink, so that uh, throughout the winter we can practice skating and play hockey. And if any of the cousins or family come up, we can have a really fun time. And just even us, our family up here, this is such a fun thing to do. Good morning. We've had some really nice cold nights, so the ice is uh, definitely getting thicker. We're taking the snow dogs a lot further out. We've gone all the way around the island now without any problems. So um, the open parts of the water are just a couple inches deep now and uh, kind of black ice. So we're going to keep off of that area for a while. But um, we're getting ready for hauling groceries and things like that, at least within a week or so. And uh, the way we plan to do that is with uh, the snow dogs, of course, towing that sled I have behind me. So we just got to put the tow bars on the front and then we're going to test it out. But we're going to throw some gear in there and go ice fishing today, which is uh, something we've been wanting to do for quite some time. We also have an otter ice fishing hut, which we have never used yet. So we want to test that out, set it up. So lots to do today. Let's start with this. Alright, so that looks like a simple attachment with a pin and a cotter pin on it. This does have the proper mount for this. We just need to find some sort of pin that will hold it in. And then we'll be good to go. Well, we got the trailer hooked up. So now I'm going to take it on a little test ride to see how it pulls before we load it up with gear and head out ice fishing.
if it can drag you, it can drag anything. Oh, now we got the weight test done and we know it can carry a bit of weight. So now it's time to head out ice fishing. Have the blade part up. Like this. Sweet. This is a big tent. Yeah. So that was easy. Really easy to set up. You pull out the four sides, pop up the center. There you have it. Let's get a chair set up. So we're going to get a real test on our Aquaview HD7i. This thing should be super cool. It'll give us a good view of what's down there, but then also uh, maybe we'll even see when we catch a fish one day. Yeah, there's your bait. Alright, so I'm just going to load up the slide with a bit of firewood. I just uh, brought one of the fireplaces around by the hockey rink so we can have a nice cozy fire uh, going if anybody wants to sit and watch or you just need a break from skating.
so the boys have been out there ice fishing and just getting the wrinkle ready, making fires and whatnot. And I'm gonna be making a super simple meal. Um, I think we had it one time, I just was using the leftover ingredients at the end of a trip one night and the kids just fell in love with it. So now I make it um, quite often for them. But basically it's three or four ingredients, some long grain rice, some eggs and some beef some onions and green onions on top with some soy sauce and that's it all mixed together so it's really really basic but super yummy this uh, tripod to hang a coffee pot make I, I don't know if uh, Carol's making coffee or hot chocolate but this tripod comes in handy for that when we were younger we always enjoyed skating and playing hockey and stuff but uh, it's been quite a while since we've got the chance to go skating again so we're still a bit rusty but now that we got our own ice rink right in the front yard it's the perfect time to learn and practice again oh my gloves full of snow Lando keeps on coming in and taking puck no way yeah he sneaks up here and takes it Just made some tea to warm us up inside. But uh, what a awesome winter experience we're having here. This whole week has reminded me of my ch my childhood, ripping around on those little snowmobiles. They're similar to the they're very simple, you know, clutch and belt like the snowmobiles from my era. <laughs> um, just booting around on the ice is so much fun. Doing some ice fishing, making a fire out by the rink, skating. I left my skates in storage but I might have to buy uh, another pair and just uh, so I don't miss out on the fun wonderful week and uh, winter can be for people kind of they feel closed in in winter and they're stuck inside but you don't have to be there's so much to do outside it can be one of the best seasons yet if you just you know get outside and enjoy it it is so much fun the fresh air and just getting out and being able to just kind of explore a little bit more and get some exercise. I'm looking forward to the weeks ahead with the snowshoeing and shed hunting, fishing. I'm super excited to go fishing. But uh, this has been really fun. So we had a really fun day doing some, or testing out our ice fishing gear. Um, we didn't catch anything, but we're not really in the, uh, optimal spot for catching either pike or or uh, trout we just went as far as we safely could right now but as soon as we can get on the lake um, we know some good spots so but we know everything works this tent works amazing um, we do have to find a way to it, it does come with some uh, ice picks to stake it down because we had some wind and now it's snowing like crazy so we're just going to pack it up and head in so i have a conference to go to next week um, as you may or may not know I am a professional speaker, so I'm 
doing the opening keynote for a conference in Mexico. So we've got to fly off the island because uh, we still can't get across the lake. But I think uh, by the time we get back, we should be able to take our snow dogs in and out. That's that's what we're hoping anyway. So I'll be gone for a few days. Um, Carol, Caroline, Pete, and Dan are coming out as well at the same time, so they can. They've got all kinds of appointments lined up for, you know, with the doctor, the dentist, the eye doctor, um, some licensing stuff that we're working on for the motorcycles and and the jeeps in preparation for upcoming travels, which we'll, we can't wait to tell you about. Um, Overland adventures ahead for 2023. All right, so today we've got an adventure on our hands. We are gonna go looking for an ice road back to uh, the, where the Jeeps are on the mainland. Now we know we can't go through the center of the lake quite yet, although it's probably getting two and a half inches or more, maybe even three, on the areas that were open water last, uh, last time we checked. Um, it's been really cold at night, and so the ice has made a lot of great progress. But in areas like this that uh, we've been keeping an eye on with the drone, it's a good six, seven, eight inches in some places. So we've been snowmobiling all around here and ice fishing. So the ice is very, very secure. Um, so we're gonna follow the shoreline where we know from, we just looked at aerial pictures um, where we know the ice is gonna be pretty thick. And then we're gonna be, once we get past a, a place we call the Cliff Jump Island, um, then it's gonna be uncharted territory from there on out. But what we'll do is we'll walk ahead We'll have one or two guys walk ahead with their ice picks and flotation suits and we'll just poke holes and see how thick it is and if it's four inches we'll bring the snow dog up and we'll move another hundred feet and we're just going to try to pick our way across to uh, where we know the ice is thick so once we get into the main channel uh, we already talked to Chris and, and there's a guy been snowmobiling out to his island so when we get there we're safe so uh, yeah come with us on a bit of an adventure and uh, we're gonna take our time and be careful. We don't want, we don't want to go in. It's too cold. <laughs> so yeah, we'll take all the precautions. But uh, if we can find a land bridge, then we're laughing. Then we can go shopping. We can get gear out there, all that stuff. So let's do it. So it's a good four or five inches here. So that's safe. We'll carry on. Some deep stuff. That's good. Clearing our track. about a quarter of the way we need to go. So far so good. Nice deep uh, ice. We stayed about 50 feet offshore. Right from here on out, we, uh, we're gonna be even at more careful. Dan's gonna walk ahead a couple hundred feet, drill a hole, measure the depth, and then we'll take the sled over there. And we'll just keep going that way. And really what we're doing is skirting all around this section of the lake until we get to the Narrows something we've looked forward to trying for years, just the experience of coming up north and spending a winter. This is one of the biggest parts of it is being able to make it out once the ice is frozen enough. It definitely seems like it has, eh? What was that? Probably four or five inches? At least everywhere it's about. My entire hand. Yeah, like your entire hand, so four or five, maybe even six inches deep, but yeah, I have hoped that we will make it. We're very close now. Good. 
what we're trying to check here, I'm just kicking my feet ahead, picking up the snow. We see this gray white ice, we know it's over, over five inches, probably six or seven inches deep. So it's definitely safe to be going on, but just, just out a little ways. I can see it. Mm. Sure. This will be the point. Even that black stuff, I'll check it down. Check it right here. See the edge? Yeah. Walk out onto the black and check it. It's a good four inches thick still. Three, I guess. We are taking all the necessary precautions for ice safety. It's still safe, but the stuff in here is deeper. This is a very deep lake. Here, the lake is about 30 to 40 feet deep. There are sections in the middle of this lake that are 150 to 200 feet deep. So breaking through the ice would be undesirable. So we came out here with the binoculars to see if uh, we could see the boys crossing the area that was open water just a few days ago. Um, they went around that way and then they're going to go around that um, this island here and then along the shore there and then over past the round island and in through the narrows if it's possible. Normally we would just go like right over this open part with the boats but that's the part that uh, was last open so Hopefully the next text I get from them is uh, at the Jeeps. Wouldn't that be something like, ah, it'd be so cool. Yeah, this is getting towards white ice now. Right? That's what I was trying to say earlier is the the black, when we, were, when we were up in the heli, we were looking at open water in a lot of these spots, but we had a good four nights of minus 20 and minus 14 almost consistently. It's got a good almost three inches of ice formed since then, which is great. So we probably could, like I think a snow dog, you can go on two inches of ice safely. So we probably could be going straight across the lake. It's just you're risking if there's a more shallow spot or anything like that. So along the shore we've been finding and looking for these whiter sections. That seems to be an indicator of over four or five inches of ice. So I mean already we've got a trail. That is what we call the narrows. So there's two narrow points in the lake. And uh, I mean right here we're sitting on good ice. If that continues straight through those narrow sections then we're good. This is the uh, most narrow spot of the lake, and it uh, appears to be good and frozen. We're almost there. Exciting. Mom, mom's checking in on the Zolio. How cool! <laughs> I gave her an update. Naturally, she would be a little worried. But uh, yeah, I let her know all is well. And we're about three quarters of the way, so she's happy. Well, it's a bit bumpy riding behind the snow dog here, me and Dan in the big sled, but uh, you know it's clear. We talked to uh, a gentleman named Dan. He has a cabin on the island right by the Narrows, of our lake. And uh, he's the guy who's coming in and out of his cabin on the snowmobile. And he said that whole area is safe, super thick. And uh, yeah, he was kind of surprised to see us. It was good to see him. Now we know there's a land bridge, a land of a, or a way to get across the ice all the way there. And from there to the marina, we can start getting other supplies. And it's just good to know you have a, a way without getting a heli or anything else to get out in case anything happens and if you just want to. It's fun. On top of that, there's a bunch of new ice placing, ice fishing places that just opened up to us. So we're excited. We're just gonna head back now. We know that way is clear and uh, tell Mom. Oh. <laughs> How did it go? Amazing. Really? I was watching you guys a little bit, so, so I could see you guys. So we made it. No way. Yeah. Um, and and no problem at all. Oh no way. So it's. Uh, I was just telling everyone we. So dog it out instead of boating it. We can just go shopping. Sweet. You want to go shopping? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you you might want to wear go. a coat. Yes, I think I do need a coat. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh. It's fun, huh? Yes. I told, so we met Dan. He has the island right by the Narrows. Okay. Not this Dan. And uh, he's like, all of a sudden there's people <laughs> walking by. He's like, I don't see any snowmobile tracks. And these people come walking by. He's like, I, I was so confused. 
but oh, he's yeah. like, you're free. <laughs> yeah, finally. I think uh, everyone, uh, sh we should all go in the have a ham hamburger and celebrate in town. Come here, Lando. You can follow us. Yes, you can run that whole trail. Yes, you can. Oh, he's gonna I love can it. Go to the pub now. I know. A burger. Awesome. Let's do, Let's do it. Come on, Lynn. Let's go. We better gas well, up. You guys kind of stopped for a bit, and then the snow dog stayed behind. I was like, oh no. Like, <coughs> right between the channel, and then there's the round island yeah. for the narrows. And then all of a sudden, I saw Dan kind of walk by, and then you kind of do like a U turn or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they're going to come back. So and then you guys started right. going again. I was like, yes. Here we are. We made it. Uh, we're going to start all the vehicles, warm them up. It's been. At least a month they've been sitting, so hopefully they start. Battery might be dead. Excuse me, man. You just have to get a jump. Oh, Isn't that funny? Never fails. She always just outperforms. <laughs> Good old Bandy. It's a reliable machine, though. Jeeps are running again. It's a good feeling. All right, so this is our first time in the Jeeps in over a month and first time off the island other than Pete going to get gas the other day with the helicopter, so it's kind of fun. We uh, drove up to a nearby town and we're just going to go grab a coffee. There's only one place uh, open in town and that's it behind me, so we're gonna grab a coffee and then we'll head back and get across the lake before dark. As we head back to the cabin across the frozen lake, we're excited about all the new adventures ahead. With the lake almost completely frozen, we can now get off the island and go winter camping, ice fishing, shed hunting, and exploring all of the hidden lakes and rivers in the wilderness around us. Hi, buddy. You looked at like frosted flakes. <laughs> Covered in snow. Hey, Lando, buddy. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see you down, down the road. road.